Today we're going to take a look at input validation with Morpheus. Input validation can be added to any of the free text type inputs, including the text type and the text area type, and that allows you to give your users a free text space to enter their custom input value, but also place some parameters around it. So maybe you want to limit them to a certain number of characters, or maybe you want it to match a more specific pattern than that. But then anytime that input is invoked, such as if they were executing a workflow, or maybe it's part of a layout and they're seeing it in the provisioning wizard, anytime that a form is submitted that contains that that uh, input which has been configured for validation, it's going to check against that pattern and uh, not allow the user to continue if the input value doesn't match the pattern you've entered. So let's take a look at how that is set up. If I'm adding a new input, as I mentioned, both the text and the text area type inputs are going to support verify patterns. This is the field where you can add the regular expression string that is going to match against text area um, as I mentioned, supported as well. You can't do this as you might suspect with any of the other types because in those cases you're giving the user a discrete list of options in most cases and so it doesn't really make sense to verify those against some kind of pattern. So let's go ahead and close this. I have an example that I've created ahead of time that we can take a look at. It's type text as um, mentioned previously that is supported and just for a simple example I've added a regular expression string that is going to require entries to begin with a lowercase a and then have any four non-numeric characters after. So essentially it's going to be a five letter word that begins with a lowercase a. One other thing you may want to consider doing when you're putting verification and validation on inputs is to utilize the help block. If you've never used a help block before, it just puts a helpful um, little sentence or two of text underneath the input when the user sees it uh, in context and that can help them to know exactly what they're going to what they should be entering in the input field as a value so in my case it just very simply says this should fail validation if the response isn't five characters and begins with a and when we actually go to execute it you're gonna see why um, in the case of using validation, it may be especially helpful to utilize that help block. So let's take a look at my example input in context. I'm gonna go into automation. I've added it as part of a, a workflow. It's actually a workflow that doesn't even have any tasks associated with it. So it's called this workflow does nothing, but we can still execute it as if it did have some tasks on it and we can actually see the validation in action here as well. So let's put something in that we would expect to pass. Uh, five letter word beginning with a lowercase a, there we go. And if I hit execute, that is gonna go ahead and go through. So let's take a look at another example. You can see my help block exactly as I typed it into the input is here. Let's type in something that will obviously fail, like banana. If I hit execute, this is why utilizing the help block is especially important because the UI message that you're gonna get back is that the name of your input, which in my case is validation example, does not match the required pattern. And then the user is simply gonna see the regular expression string. That may or may not be useful depending on the user. Um, that may not mean much to certain users. So that's why I recommend using the um, help block just to make sure that the user knows up front exactly what they should be entering and they don't need to necessarily um, read regular expressions to understand what they should be doing. So let's put something else in, you know, maybe I meet my uh, first character of A, but let's put one additional character in there. So this should fail as well. If I hit execute, we see that it does. If I take that S off once again, and execute, we see that it goes through. So it's very simple yet very powerful to add validation to your text-based inputs. Thanks for watching.